there's something happening inside the moon, something that nobody expected. Not a dramatic shift you'd see on the outside, but deep down, where things seem frozen in time, scientists have uncovered a hidden layer of what you could only call moon goo. Remember those school lessons about the crust, mantle, and core? Much like the Earth, the moon is made up of layers, a crust, mantle, and core. However, the moon's core is much smaller compared to ours. Earth's core is huge. It makes up about a third of our entire planet's mass. The moon's core makes up only about 1-2% to of its mass, and its diameter is about one-fifth the diameter of the moon itself. It's surrounded by a hard, rocky mantle. But it turns out that between these two layers, that mysterious goo layer, and it's way more important than you might think. The layer is soft and partially molten, ebbing and flowing like the tides in our oceans. It rises and falls, stretching and shifting as if it were alive. Its movement isn't chaotic, but subtle and regular. We always knew that the moon influences our seas and oceans, causing tides with its gravity. But it turns out that we influence it back. The goo ocean reacts to the gravitational dance between Earth and the Sun. Also, the molten layer could be made of ilmenite, a very intriguing material. Ilmenite is rich in titanium, a strong and lightweight metal that we really love over here on Earth. Titanium is used in everything, from airplane parts and spacecraft to medical devices. Even in everyday items like bikes and laptops. All because it's incredibly strong and very resistant to corrosion and heat. So if the moon might have a molten layer rich in ilmenite, that would be awesome. Astronomers are already planning for lunar bases. And if we had a material to build structures, spacecraft, or even tools for astronauts right there, that would be a game changer. Otherwise, we'd need to transport materials from Earth, which is extremely costly. This is our first tangible sign that the moon is not just a cold, boring rock. Instead, it's dynamic, living, and breathing, with moving forces beneath the surface. NASA used new special tools to discover this – the Gravity Recovery and Interior Laboratory and the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. These are both space missions designed to study the moon, but they don't just look at the surface like a telescope. Instead, they help measure things we can't see with our eyes, like the moon's gravity and how it changes over time. GRAIL sent two small spacecraft around the moon named Ebb and Flow. Clever. The idea was for these spacecraft to fly close to each other and measure tiny differences in the moon's gravity as they go. It's like they were feeling the moon's invisible pull in different places. If the moon's gravity was stronger in one spot, the spacecraft moved closer together, and if it was weaker, they moved farther apart. This helps scientists understand what's going on inside the moon, even if they can't actually go there. And the spacecraft intentionally crashed into the moon in December 2012 to end the mission. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter is a bit different. It takes super detailed pictures of the moon and collects other important information about its surface. By combining the information from both GRAIL and LRO, we were able to find this goo layer. But this discovery actually challenges everything we thought we knew about lunar geology. How did this molten layer get there? How long has it existed? And perhaps more fascinating, how it stayed warm for millions of years? That's a million dollar questions. The moon's core generates heat just like ours. But it's not as easy as saying, oh, the core's heat probably keeps it warm and molten. Well, first, the moon's core is much smaller and less active than Earth's, meaning it produces significantly less heat. Plus, the moon is much cooler than Earth in general. With temperature dropping to minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface, how could this inner layer still stay in this flowing state? That's still a mystery. In any case, this goo could actually explain a lot of stuff about the moon. For example, astronomers were exploring moon quakes and how they happen. Now they think that it might be this semi-molten layer shifting and moving beneath the surface. Now beyond the moon itself, it also tells us more about other celestial bodies. If the moon, something we considered basically a huge static rock, has such a dramatic life, what about other planets, moons, or asteroids? Could they also hide similar hidden movements beneath their surfaces? We can even understand our own planet better, learn more about how tides and similar stuff works. 
There are so many great discoveries we've been making on the Moon. Recently, we found some awesome stuff beneath the surface – massive caves hidden for millions of years. For over 50 years, scientists have suspected that the Moon's surface is full of underground tunnels and caves. These are known as lava tubes because they were formed by lava. Duh! Millions of years ago, the Moon was pretty unstable. It underwent some volcanic activity, causing eruptions. When a volcano erupts, lava can flow across the surface. As the outer layer of the lava cools and hardens, it forms a solid roof of dark material. It's actually what these famous dark spots on the Moon are. These are dark, hardened remains of ancient lava. But the hot, molten lava continues to flow through the center. Once the eruption ends and the lava drains away, what's left behind is an empty hollow tunnel, hence a lava tube. On Earth, we have lava tubes in places like Hawaii or Iceland, where volcanic activity has created similar underground tunnels. The same thing happened on the Moon billions of years ago, although they're much crazier compared to ours. In fact, lunar lava tubes are now thought to be some of the largest and longest in the entire solar system. One such cave was discovered beneath the famous Mare Tranquilitas, the place where Apollo 11 first landed, and it's at least 340 feet deep. Now, all these lava systems have remained hidden just beneath the surface, untouched for millions of years. Only now, they finally managed to prove their existence. Scientists from the University of Trento in Italy found them using special radar technology and advanced computer methods. These techniques let you see underground by sending radar waves. The waves bounce back and give clues about what's hidden underneath. By analyzing the way these waves reflected back, the researchers could detect the shape and size of the hidden caves. Now, the best thing about this discovery is that we could build all our bases there. These caves protect from radiation, harsh winds, and meteoroids. NASA even found evidence that some of these caves stay at a steady 63 degrees Fahrenheit. That's some crazy coziness for the moon. And on top of that, there could even be some water there. So humans could take shelter inside these natural tunnels and build entire colonies on the moon. And I know what you're thinking. Could unexpected lunar monsters hide deep in those caves? Well, sure. There's a huge potential for exploring these caves and finding some awesome stuff. But even if we manage to find a miracle, like small life or microbial organisms, there's a 99% chance that there won't be actual animals or monsters. It would just be impossible for them to develop in such conditions. But it would make a great horror movie. <laughs> Researchers want to send robots or drones to explore the tunnels first, and then see if they're safe enough for humans. And it's not just the US getting in on the action. China is also investigating the possibility of using these moon caves as a future base, showing that the race to explore and settle the moon is heating up. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.